creative kids and creative parents. Welcome to Creative Critters. So today is June the 23rd and tomorrow, June the 24th, is National Fairy Day. So I thought we would take a little break from the tales of animals. So um, what we're going to do today is do something really fun. We are going to create our own fairy door. So get yourself ready. Let me tell you what you're going to need. I'm going to stick that right there. You are going to need some popsicle sticks, some glue, uh, <clears throat> school glue, and go ahead and get your glue sticks out because it, it might be easier to use this. Some tape, possibly, for some things. Um, also, tissue paper. And we're going to break out our bling. And then also have some shells. Those are just for embellishments, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Go ahead and get yourself some markers and some paint out. So here's the thing. It is not going to be that hard for you because it's we're making a door using um, popsicle sticks. Okay? And I'm going to, I'm just going to do a very simple one for you to see. And then we'll talk about how you get other shapes. I, I will show you how I got another shape. So basically, I'm going to lay like eight popsicle sticks. I'm going to do three, three, and two. And then I'm going to, I'm using hot glue. I would say you can use the regular school glue, and I'm just going to lay them right side by side, each other. All right. And again, let the kids use the school glue and they can do this themselves and they won't worry, need to worry about being stung with the glue. All right. Okay. And there we go. So I got those together and I'm doing them in threes. That's just a way to help you move things along quickly and keep it kind of level. All right, and you just put them, I'm putting them straight close together and then closing the gap as I put more glue. All right. And then just make sure you squish them together so that they're equal in height. All right. Okay. So that's my first three, third three, and then I'm going to put my two in the middle. And again. If you're doing this with school glue, I'm going to tell you, go away for a couple hours and come back and let it just rest. I'm doing uh, the um, hot glue mostly so we can move on and I can show you the construction. All right, so now I just have two more spots to glue. Those where the video is probably not going to be that long, but... For you to actually complete this, it could be for some of you that will be more than a, a day kind of a project. Especially if you do it with uh, uh, the school glue, it dries uh, clear and leaves less bumps. This is the only thing about hot glue, so I would not recommend for you to do it with hot glue. If you want to, sure, but I it would look better, and I will show you on the back of mine. It is just so much cleaner. And even if you wanted to paint the back, not saying that you should, but you could because the glue dries and lays down so much nicer. Hot glue is what it is. It's bumpy, hot, and you got to go with it. And it dries. And once it's dry, it's in place and all is well. So while we have this turned over, you can see my construction. I had three and three and my two. You'll also notice that I got kind of an arched kind of uh, a door. So if you want to create any kind of shape like that, just move your um, popsicle sticks into that arrangement and leave them that way and then just put your glue right down the seams. You can see that these two middle are kind of up. I would still go in that kind of order somehow. I mean, you don't have to do three, three, and two like I did. If you want to do your uh, 
and add, you could actually add more popsicle sticks. You could do three, three, and three. I would just keep it so that you keep it kind of to a minimum. Think about how thick you would like your door to be and break it up into smaller parts and then glue those parts together. And so um, that's what I did. So I'm gonna finish by putting on like a cross hatching and that's what I'm calling these. I just kind of think it makes it look more like a door, a little wooden door out in the woods. So here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use the side that is not bumpy. Do you see what I mean? So like no one's gonna see the back or they don't have to see the back, but it does make it a little bit, you know, less desirable in my opinion. So, we're gonna turn it over, and I'm just gonna do one cross hatch so that you can just see what that looks like. And just, so there you go. You just have, and honestly, this kind of helps it too, stability. If once you put one of those, it really does. Like, <clears throat> I'm not sure how the school glue holds up, but I think with those two cross hatches on it, it will probably hold up a lot longer and be good. I, I think it would help it. So at this point, you need to decide what color you would like to paint it, and I would go ahead and just paint that color right on um, uh, after this is all dry. Again, remember, if you use the school glue, it's probably going to take a couple hours, maybe a little more. But it's summer, so take your time and do one that you would be proud of, okay? So I'm going to get back to this one that I did and show you the things that I, the other things that I embellished with. I went outside and got sticks, and this is uh, for another project that I had done. I actually had uh, spray painted white on it, so I just want you to know I did not find that in nature that way. But I used some of the extra and broke up the sticks. And so <clears throat> I put them around my little door so it looks like a house door. And then I fortified it around the sides also so it looks like hinges. And then I wanted to create some little steps. And if you can't see, there's three little sticks in here that I just glued. And I did use hot glue for that. Once you start use, going for embellishments, I would say you can use school glue, but I would go ahead and do the hot glue because it's going to stay better because you have one um, it makes it sturdier, I think. It will be one uh, entity that you're gluing to. So the other things that I use, you can see I've torn up some little um, tissue paper and just made like little leaves that have fallen on the ground or grass shoots, however you want to think of it, you could use that. And then I wanted to do kind of shiny hearts, you know, fairies like the shiny stuff. So I went back and I used some little bling medallions and also some uh, bling flowers. Other things that I used were shells um, and that was my doorknob, my little shell doorknob. I, I think you could use um, buttons and just all kinds of other nifty things. You could actually use string find a way to use it. You can see on here, I use markers um, to embellish and create the vine look on, on my door once my, um, once my paint was dry. And remember, if you use our favorite acrylic uh, paints, they dry quickly. So you should be able to keep going with this. Just paint it, let it dry, and then you can work right with it. So that is the door. You're gonna need yourself some popsicle sticks, some school glue, possible glue sticks for little things, little embellishments that could stick on there. Um, and you might actually need some tape. Uh, and I use bling and also some shells. So, you know, what? maybe you're going on vacation and you found some little trinkets that you liked. Um, you can use, uh, what are those? Not seed beads, but you could use seed beads. But the other little beads that you, know, you can make those bracelets out of. Um, can't think of the name of the beads. But they're bigger, bigger beads uh, for kids' dexterity use. 
but yeah. So think of really creative things that you want to embellish your door with. And I would say, enjoy National Airy Day. All right, guys, we're going to see you in the library. I hope you are signed up on Beanstack. If not, go ahead and do it. It's not too late. And remember that we are doing a raffle every week for those who are signed up on Beanstack. That's where we get the names from. We will call you once we pull the names as to who the winners are. All right. Happy summer reading. Happy summer reading.